Okay, in this example, we're going to integrate 4t squared plus 3, and then the whole thing here is being squared. Let's go ahead and try to work through it. Solution. So, to do this, I think one way to do it is to simply expand it out. And because there's a 2 here, you can write it twice and just multiply it out, or you can take a shortcut. Let's go ahead and how should we do it? Oh, let's just write it twice. So this is going to be 4t squared plus 3 times 4t squared plus 3. And then what we can do is just basically distribute and then apply the power rule. If you're curious about the shortcut, I was going to apply the formula a plus b squared. That's equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So you can apply this formula to this here, and it's a little bit faster uh, to do it that way. But we've started doing it this way, so let's just continue. All right, good stuff. So we, we're not integrating yet, so we still have to write the integral sign. So we're going to do this times this. So that's going to give us, uh, let's see, 4 times 4 is 16. t squared times t squared is t to the fourth. So that'll be parentheses 16 t to the fourth, right? And then we'll do this times this. That's going to be 12 t squared. Yeah, really nice. And then this times this is also going to be 12 t squared. And then this times this is going to be 9. And then we have the dt. So basically, you take this number here, it's a different color, or this, this expression here, 4t squared, and you multiply it by both of these, and take this term here and multiply it by both of these. All right, looks like we can combine some like terms, so let's do that. So this is going to be the integral of 16t to the fourth. And then we have 12t squared plus 12t squared. That's going to be 24t squared, right? 12, 12 is 24. And then plus our 9 here, dt. Really cool. All right, so now we can just apply the power rule. So let's do it. So when we integrate, that's when we drop the integral sign, right? It's really important. So you notice, notice it's been written every single time, right? At this point, we stop writing it, okay? And so this is going to be 16 t to the 5, okay? And then you just divide by the number, right? You just basically take this and add 1. 4 plus 1 is 5, then you divide by the result. Same thing here, plus 24 t. Take this number and add 1. 2 plus 1 is 3, divide by the result. And then whenever you have a number by itself, you just tack on a t, so plus 9t plus our constant of integration, capital C. So again, the power rule says when you have a number to a power, as long as that power is not negative one, you basically add one to it and divide by the result. So four plus one is five, there's the five. Two plus one is three, there's the three. A number by itself, just tack on the variable, plus nine T, and don't forget big C, which is our constant of integration. All right. Um, I don't like the way this is written. I'm going to write it like this, 16 over 5 t to the fifth. I just prefer to have things out front. 3 goes into 24 eight times. This is 8 t cubed. And we have the 9 t. Very nice. And then we still have our constant of integration, which is capital C. And that would be the answer to this integral.